College women's basketball team were injured tonight when the team's bus collided with a flatbed truck just inside the South Carolina state line. Now, the team was en route to a tournament in Virginia where they were scheduled to play Baptist College tonight. Two coaches and four students all remain hospitalized tonight in fair condition. Some young men skated themselves right into jail today. Police arrested three people for skateboarding on city property. 18-year-old David Shakin in the black shirt, John Donahue, 21, and a third person not seen here spent the afternoon behind bars. They were arrested for doing this, skateboarding. It hardly looks like a crime, but skateboarding is illegal on city property. J. Shea Gibson was there when the police officer arrested his friend. He noticed three people that he'd seen there before, and he didn't notice me and a friend of mine. So he took them, he arrested them, and we got off on first warning. The organizer of a skateboard team, Denise Hyatt, came to bail one of them out. Well, this is proof that the kids need some place to skate, you know. Um, they're skating in places they're not supposed to be skating in, so they need a, a place to skate. Police say they've arrested about 20 people in recent months for skateboarding in this old city pool. They say they're not against skateboarding as long as people do it on their own private property. But this is city property, and city officials say they're worried someone may get hurt and sue the city. This is no surface for people to be skateboarding in with those type of obstructions in the roadway, in the skateway. <coughs> Follow me. See the uneven surfaces here? Mm -hmm. Or uh, what if they fall and hit his head on the corner of one of these uh, steps or something? It's, it's just a yeah. hazard. The problem is not new. These pictures were taken yeah, about this time last us. year. Same rusty pipe, same hazard. Same effort by police to keep people out. Posted signs have been torn down repeatedly, and warnings have not been heeded. How often do you come here and skate? Um, I guess once or twice a week. Did you have any idea it was illegal? Yeah, I mean, people have been taken away from here before. Why do you keep coming back? Because it's just somewhere we like to skate. I mean, there aren't that many places around here, and I mean, you just take what you can get. Even at the risk of being arrested? I guess so. Police say liability is tremendous, and by keeping skateboarders away, they're protecting all taxpayers. And they say it's not their job to find a place for them to skateboard. Chief Greenberg told me today he plans to put dirt in the old pool to try to eliminate the skateboarding problem there. He did not say when the dirt will be dumped in the old pool or how much that would cost. But until then, until it's there, police will continue to arrest trespassers and fine them $118. City of Charleston held a public hearing tonight over its plan to build a waterfront aquarium at the end of Calhoun Street. Now, those in support of the aquarium...